Well, antelope season uh, started out kind of slow, but ended up ended really good. Uh, Missy and I both uh, drew rifle tags. I uh, ended up uh, trying a few times with my bow and uh, decoys. I used uh, I used a standing decoy and a stalker bow mount uh, for my bow hunting. Uh, opening deer bow season, Lake and I uh, Lake and I went out hunting for deer, and then came across a buck. Uh, he was bedded uh, with a doe. He was sitting below a hill there, kind of nested by a nice um, mound that we could kind of sneak up on. Um, so we were able to sneak up, and but we ended up getting that mound that we saw from a distance was was ended up being too close to him. We were, I bet, we were probably within 15, 20 feet at the most. Um, so when he did see the, when we popped up slowly, he saw the decoy, and I don't think he was. I think he just saw the movement before he even saw the decoy. So unfortunately, uh kind of scared him away. This is the last weekend of antelope season for this year. Last weekend we were not successful in getting our antelope, so we still both have buck tags that we can get antelope with. So we will see what's out there this weekend. Um, we're watching a coyote right now just for fun this afternoon, but we'll see if we can get the coyote. Misty, uh, had hers in a field, stubble field, and uh, we moved around to the other side of the field. Uh, got good, good wind and everything like that, and had Misty set up on the field. And sure enough, the antelope made a hard, hard uh, left and started heading south. Right, started coming right towards us. I think you hit him, I heard something. There he goes. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> he was, yeah, he's right at 100 yards. Yeah, that was perfect. Lucky there, so your uh, gun kind of jammed there a little bit when I was. I was. <laughs> Good thing he was somewhat curious. All right, let's go check him out. All right. Still watching this group of antelope. Trying to find a buck. So hopefully Dyke can fill his tag for the air. It's a cool morning, pretty foggy out. It's tough to see things. It's supposed to start raining and then turn to snow.
Adams trying to get on this antelope, and he believes it's at 570, and he wants to get closer. yards, I think he just, he's still sitting there. I couldn't get Misty up here to film. Um, I was debating to try to come up the stone field just on this little rolling hill, but there was another doe over here to the left. So even though this is a further shot, I'm, I would have, I would, I'm glad I came here instead of trying to get there. I think I got busted. Like a little nub there, almost like it got broke at one time or something, or then it regrew. But the next year, you know, but look at that. Got some good curl. Good, good job, honey. A little bit. It's a tough one, you can tell. Finally, uh, finally, it ended up falling over. So uh, it was a uh, didn't have high expectations for the weekend when we started out. In the season, but we ended up uh, really good there. Uh, couldn't be more happy with the two bucks we took and had a great time, and everything came out on on a good good note. So.